how to buy an iTunes gift card. Brought to you by Jakana Productions. The following tutorial was designed for beginners and will show you how to download the iTunes music player, sign up for an Apple ID and buy an iTunes gift card. And remember, if you'd like to support this video, please click the first link you see below in the description and I'll receive a couple of pennies from your purchase. Okay, enough fannying about. Let's get started. We're going to start out by downloading iTunes. Even if you have a copy of iTunes on your computer, it might be a good idea to get the latest version of iTunes. To download iTunes, go to apple.com, click on the iTunes menu bar item on the top of the page, and then in the middle of the page, click on the download iTunes button. And then uncheck those boxes on the side. You don't need those. Those are just for email marketing and stuff. And then click on the download now link, download iTunes, and install it on your machine. So now you've installed iTunes, it's time to get an Apple ID or create an Apple ID. An Apple ID really is not actually an email address that Apple uses to create a login for the various services that Apple offers. And in our case, we're just using it to um, access the iTunes Music Store. So let's create an Apple ID. Launch iTunes, then on the very top left, click on the iTunes Store link. Now you're going to go to the iTunes store, but you have to log in to actually buy an iTunes gift card. And to have that, you need to have a login, which is an Apple ID. So on the left, you'll see a sign-in link. Click on the sign-in button, and a little window will pop up asking for your Apple ID and a password. Obviously, you don't have it, so you need to create this Apple ID. So click on the button that says Create Apple ID, and up will come a form where you need to add your details to create the Apple ID. Well, this little window comes up first um, and tells you the wonders of an Apple ID. So click the Continue button. Up comes this form. Click the terms. Uh, check the little check. Click the checkbox there for the terms and conditions. Sign your life away. Your firstborn. Your left. You know what. Click on Agree, and up will come this form that you need to fill out. Um, your email you're going to fill in, and this actually email address is going to be your Apple ID. It's kind of confusing, but an Apple ID is actually an email, like I said for the past 20, 30 times. And then it needs a password, but it needs a secure password. Um, let me just finish filling out this form here. Come on, type faster. Now, it's interesting because, um, as you know, passwords... Um, are the things that it is the big point of contention on the internet because we don't use secure enough passwords. Read that little box because it requires a password with a capitalized letter and a number. And right now I actually want to plug something else. And this is a program to generate secure passwords which I use. It is for the Mac and the PC and it is called 1Password. There are other programs such as the one password program but I like one password and I use one password on all my devices my phone my computer and my tablet the problem with not having a secure password or the problem is with passwords nowadays is we have so many different things to log into we use the same password this is bad the bad guys somehow hack you and get your password and they will then go to all the different accounts they can try and they will use this one password that they use, the single password you use, and they will get into all your accounts. So this program enables you to create a very secure password, different password for all of your accounts. So I strongly suggest you download this or use something like it. Now they want to have these security questions. These are kind of a pain in the butt. You've probably used these for banking. I always answer them differently for every site that I go to and I record what I write down. Where do I record what I write down? Well, actually in one password and these other programs, there's a secure area where you can record you can actually record your answers to these questions. And then everything in these um, one password like programs is then encrypted. Now my date of birth, this is something else. I never give them my real date of birth. Why? 
Because if the bad guys were ever somehow get into your account, they've got another piece of information um, they can use. Um, and I always give a false date of birth. Obviously, don't you don't want to make your date of birth too young because then you will not get in because you've got to be at least 18. So that's just a little tip that I use. Now you have to enter credit card details. Now, obviously, in, in our case, we're going to buy an iTunes gift card. So we're going to enter credit card details. So now I need to edit your credit card information and you just have to do it because you're going to have to pay for this somehow. And I've done this here. And then bam, it's going to say um, a verification email has been sent to your account. And let's go and check that verification email. So now go to your email and patiently wait for an email that comes from Apple. And you'll see an email like this eventually. It took me about five or ten minutes to get it and you'll see a Verify Now link. So click on that Verify Now link and it'll go to a web page where you will enter your brand spanking new Apple ID, which is actually an email address, like I've said a hundred times during this tutorial, and your carefully chosen password that you chose in the sign-up process. And once you've done that, come on, click on the Verify Address button and it'll say, well done, your address is now verified, and now you can go to return to the store. It's going to now launch iTunes, and you'll see, if you look in the upper left corner, okay, click the Start Shopping button, in the upper left corner, it'll see you're actually now logged in, and you'll see a couple options when you click on your email address, your Apple ID, and you can actually go and buy stuff and shop till you drop right now. Okay, finally, let's go and get ourselves an iTunes gift card and send it to somebody. So let's sign in. Uh, you may already be signed in, but if you're not, go and click on that button where it says sign in and add your uh, Apple ID and your uh, password. You also, if you ever forget it, there's a forget button there. You can click on that and retrieve your password and change it. Click on the sign in. And once you're signed in, you'll see some quick links on the side of the iTunes player. Um, one of the useful things is you can actually see is um, it says, uh, where is it? Come on. There's different links down the side here. It says purchases. If we go back up here, I think I'm going to click on it. And it actually will tell you um, if the person's redeemed the iTunes gift certificate that you sent you and what you've actually bought. Uh, it's actually very useful. But in our case, we want to go and click on um, this link down here that says send iTunes gifts. I mean, it's a little uh, confusing, but anyway, you click on that. So once you click on that, you'll see that a window will pop up. There you go, come on. And it's a pretty simple form. They've redesigned this form. There's a two, there's a subject, a message, and there's uh, different amounts. And you're gonna the two is obviously the email address of the recipient. And we're gonna type that in now. Um, you'll see the denominations on the right, 10, 15, 25, 50, 100, or other. In this case, uh, there's the sender, that's me. And I write a little message, and you'll see where that message uh, that message will be in the email card and that'll be in the email. Uh, that the person receives, I'll be able to see this little message you write. I'm like, happy birthday, well done, uh, congratulations on your divorce, well done on the funeral, whatever. Now, a really cool thing they did for the new iTunes gift card um, sending little page, uh, little pop-up thing here, is you have um, send it, you can actually send it on a certain date in the future. Now this might sound a little strange, but say you're um, going away, you know, on the 20th, you're flying out or something to go to your parents' house or wherever you go, and you want to do some Christmas shopping beforehand, as I know some of you lazy buggers do. You might want to say, well, wait a minute, I want to send um, my niece or nephew an iTunes gift card, I want them to arrive on Christmas Day, um, and then I don't have to worry um, about it, about me forgetting about it, or going online, maybe I computers in my bag, or maybe I'm traveling on the 24th, etc., etc. So I think this is a really cool idea and a really cool little thing you can use. 
um, and also for birthdays, if you were really savvy, you could go in there and, uh, you know, <laughs> send five or six, seven, ten different um, gift cards and stage them throughout the year for the different birthdays, and you'd be a hero because you'd never forget anyone's birthday, and no one would ever be mad at you. So we've written the text and uh, filled in the name and the email and everything now, so let's, now let's choose an amount. So I'm going to choose $10 because I'm just testing this thing out. And uh, once we've done that, we're going to click on the Next button, I believe. And once we click on the Next button, I don't know why my cursor is moving around here, we will see that we have different options, different types of cards, and ones for a birthday, and et cetera, et cetera. And, um, so we're going to choose what you want here. Then click on the Next button, and then confirm your gift. Blah, 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 buy gift. And there it is. Click on the buy gift button. You've pulled the trigger. There it is. There's the confirmation. And you will see you've bought someone a $10 gift card, which they can redeem at the iTunes store for anything. This is the email the recipient will receive from Apple with the message that you wrote to them. And they'll simply click on the redeem now button where they can go off to the iTunes Music Store to redeem the gift card that you sent them. Another cool thing you can do with the iTunes Music Store is gift someone a particular item. It could be a song, a book, an app, a film, a TV show. So I'm going to gift someone a documentary. So I'm going to go here to all categories on the side, click on documentaries, and I'm just going to browse the documentaries, blah, 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 blah. Um, click on that little see all button there. I don't know I'm going kind of quick here, but anyway. So I kind of know the actual name of the documentary that I want to give someone. And it is called Five Broken Cameras. It's actually a, a uh, Oscar nomination for the best documentary. It lost, I think, because of political reasons anyway. Um, so I'm going to type in the name here, Five Broken Cameras. And there it comes up in the search. And it actually is a really cool documentary if you want to see something different. And you'll see there's a number of pull-downs by, what is it, for $9.99. I think it's in standard definition. Sometimes the HD ones are a little bit more. You can also share it on Twitter and all this other crap. So anyway, if I want to gift it, I actually see there's an option there, gift this movie. So what I can do is just click that gift this movie link. It'll pop up a window similar to that we saw before. And you just put an email, uh, an address. We can also gift it into the future. And there you have it. I think it's pretty cool. So I want to show you something that's new uh, for the latest version of iTunes in 2013. And this is if you get an iTunes gift card in the store. So obviously you'd need to sign in to your iTunes uh, account. And you see here, um, we're going to click on Redeem. This is, don't forget, if you got a gift card, physical gift card from a store that you gave to somebody or you've received. And now there's a cute little thing here that says Use Camera. So you can actually scan the gift card with your camera, instead of typing in that long digit, uh, whatever, 18 digit number, and you can see here I'm uh, looking at my camera on my computer, and you'd hold up the gift card to your camera, and you'd scan it in, you'd ha save you having to type in the code. Very, very cool. So there you have it, folks. Everything you've ever wanted to know about iTunes gift cards. If you'd like to support this video, please click the first link you see below in the description and I'll receive a couple of pennies from your purchase.